Hi, you're watching Bike Routes of Brum, a channel dedicated to finding safe cycle routes across Birmingham. In this video, we'll be cycling from Chamberlain Square in the city centre to City Hospital. In this route, we'll be using quiet streets and protected cycle lanes, including the new cycle lane that's opened along Spring Hill, and it should take about 10 minutes to ride. The Spring Hill cycle lane has provided a really good safe route to City Hospital, and you can use this to link up with the Harbour Walkway as per a previous video that I've filmed. I've put a link to the route into the description below so you can download the GPX file for yourself. So we're starting the video off in Chamberlain Square where we always seem to start and rather than riding through Victoria Square where we normally go we're actually going to go up past Dishoom and into a bit that I didn't even realise had a name called Congrave Passage. Um, they're still doing a lot of building work around here for Paradise but we're going to go here and cross over the Great Charles Queensway and then up onto Summer Row. Um, now this bit I think is a shared use pathway. Um, I think they were just digging up the road at the time that I actually filmed this so if you come across this you can just hop over those red pipes and then onto the now one way bit of uh, Summer Hill. And we follow the road round then and it turns into Fleet Street. Now this is a one way for bike, for cars, um, but I'm not sure about bikes to be honest. But the signs seem to indicate that we should go up onto this, uh, over this bridge and then down onto the canal. So that's what I decided to do. But you could also just go straight to the end of Fleet Street as well. Either way, it's going to basically take you up to New Hall Street and on Newhall Street you're going to take a left and ride this up the hill and we go past the Queen's Arms pub which they've tragically painted grey it used to be um, like a really nice red colour it baffles me why they've decided to paint it grey I think it looks so crap now um, but um, Newhall Street turns into Graham Street and we've got a nice little protected cycle lane for going up the hill which is always nice um, just be careful of this little raised bit here by the bus stop um, it's still quite steep a bit like other ones that I've seen where it looks like it's temporary and they've just not really done anything with it but overall this actually is quite nice to cycle along and it's a welcome addition now we're going to cross over this crossroads here and onto Leg Lane which is one way for cars going down the hill but as cyclists we've got a, a little protected lane here. Unfortunately they're doing renovations to the buildings there which is much needed because at the time, you know, 10 years ago when I used to live in the jewellery quarter these were all dilapidated so it's a nice addition but it's not as nice to cycle along at the moment. Hopefully it won't be too long. Now we go past the Pig and Tail pub and then onto Carver Street. Again, it's one way for cars coming up and we've got a nice little cycle lane here. Now, I do think this is quite often filled with cars, um, but I did see, I filmed this on a Saturday morning, I did actually see a parking attendant out, so maybe they've kind of wised up to, <laughs> to the fact that they could make a lot of money if they actually, you know, ticketed people for parking in there. Now we come to the crossroads here and we go straight over the ring road onto Hingeson Street. Uh, on a previous video I've done, we would have carried on straight ahead, but we're now going to go left onto this little bit that I don't think is quite finished yet at the time that I filmed this. We drop down onto Ellen Street. Now, this is going to take us through this estate, and we're looking to join up with the um, new Spring Hill cycle lane that's just opened recently. Before you would have carried along the Hingston Street, I think, and then gone kind of round the back and then through a little park by the canal. But now this way will take you all the way along the main road. Um, I'm not sure how long they've actually been constructing it for, but um, you can see <laughs> they haven't quite finished it on that little bit that we've just passed. But once you're actually onto it, they've done a really nice job. Um, you know, we've got right of way across all the um, the junctions here, which is really good to see. They've actually put some time into it and, and redesigned the road properly. And it's made it a lot nicer to cycle along. Um, before, I think this was like two lanes either side, maybe. can't really remember what this bit of the road was like. But it's a lot better to cycle along now, and I'm actually quite impressed that they've done something with it. Um, it's got the nice classic Birmingham blue as well, which is always good to see. Does make me think they need to respray some of the other cycle routes that we've got though to kind of make everything look as vibrant as this one does. 
but we cross now and we're going past all the new development around um, City Hospital which has popped up over the last couple of years and made it really nice and once we go over this little crossing here which can take a little bit of time we have arrived at City Hospital and it just shows how quick it actually is now that they've put this new cycle lane and it, is, it takes less than 10 minutes um, there's some bike racks just there but I thought I'd head for these kind of ones that are under a bit of shelter where we will end the video thanks again for watching the video I hope that you found it useful if you have any other ideas for alternate routes or want to mention anything that I've forgotten please feel free to comment below I try to upload these videos as much as I can so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any routes thanks again for watching